welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be harvesting some peanuts. So it's not the first day of harvesting peanuts. We've been harvesting for about two days now already. So I just barely finished digging some peanuts yesterday. And someone else is going to cover for me now because my brother ended up working pretty late yesterday with bailing. So they needed some extra help to help run the peanut crew over here. So this is where I'm headed now. Uh, I'm gonna service all the combines. Uh, I believe a few trucks are showing up, so we'll load up a few trucks of peanuts, get those loaded up and out of here. And then I believe sometime after lunch, then we're gonna also move to the next field that we gotta get to, because this first 60 acres is just about done. It needs a few more rounds. So we're gonna do those few rounds. And then move to the next field, another 60 acres, more Virginias. So it's gonna be some peanut harvesting today. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a good one. Well, I didn't get much done here. I started just pulling out all the air filters to where we could clean them. I did all that. This one's already fueled up. But now I just saw a semi truck that passed by here, headed to the basket. So I'm gonna head over there and quickly fill him up. There might be two or three trucks coming. No, that I'm not quite sure. But we'll fill up a few semi trucks and then get back to servicing. Start the conveyor on first. Well, actually, let's turn all this off. Because, I believe, if we come around to this side, they turned all of this off on this side. My lights are off. So now I can head back to this side. And then turn the conveyor on. Works good. Shaker. Come over here. There they go. video about it last year but basically what this setup does and what it helps us is whenever we cannot get trucks we can still thrash because we can fill this basket up with these size trailers these are quite large size trailers for this company you can fit about two and a half maybe three semi truck loads in here and that's with it being as like peak full as what you can get it a smaller trailer then you can get maybe three out of them maybe a little more but basically we can accumulate a lot of peanuts in here keep thrashing and then this machine right here in the middle this is a shaker it cleans it cleans it further as you can tell coming out of the end here there's a lot of dirt still coming out so it's just extra trash that we don't want in there all the all the lsks we don't really want those either extra twigs and branches and stuff they'll all come out this end right here so it basically just makes it a whole lot cleaner and then we just have it going from the shaker back up to a conveyor to load the semi trucks basically every everyone in this area if they can they usually run a similar setup to something like this it's really nice and handy a lot of people love it i love it we personally have it set up to where I've had semi truck drivers tell us that with the setup that we have, we can we load up the fastest out of all of them. I guess something about the conveyor that just works really fast and it, it it loads them up pretty quick. And on the basket side of things, you just have chutes all along here like this one, little gates everywhere. You can open open up whichever one you desire. Right now it's unloading from the back here. There's a chute on this side. I'll walk around here. This chute right here is open. So normally you can run about one chute open if you're in a hurry. The shaker and the conveyor, they can handle one and a half chutes open. But if you want it cleaner, you know, you just do a little bit less at a time. 
All right, my dad showed up. So he's gonna load up the rest of the semis. And then I'm gonna head back to the shop and finish servicing. Yep, that could be a problem. All right, looks like I'll be able to be in the combine for today. My dad's in the other one. My younger brother is stacking. Uh, we got a lot of people here. Currently we're not digging. Currently it's not quite ready, so we're gonna wait a little bit. Kind of letting down my basket. We made a slight modification to the combine a little bit, see if we can make it where we can thresh faster, go faster. So we're gonna see, we're gonna test that out. If it works on this combine, we're gonna switch it to, switch the same thing to that other combine. I guess we'll go to the field now and see how it works. And we're harvesting peanuts. We got a few guys behind me. They're checking it out, see how good it looks. They're telling us what we need to do, if we need to change anything. So I don't need to climb out of the cab or anything. I can just keep on going. Go about one mile an hour right now. We tried going one and a half, it, uh, it did not seem to work. I'm guessing it's still a little too early in the morning, still a little bit too, too humid, so we'll have to probably stick with one. So far it's not bad, but we're still trying to figure it out why this combine is not doing as good of a job as that combine. For some reason it feels like, or it seems like, at the back of my combine it's just spitting out a lot of broken peanuts. It feels like it's thrashing way too hard and we have it, we have everything turned down. But now we just ready to try to turn it back up and now have it at 150 and the lowest it can go is 130. So we're trying a few different things, see if we can get it to look a little better. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still good or not, but they're walking around everywhere, they're making sure they're, they're telling us what we need to do, so. For now, I'm just sitting here combining. Good though, there's a lot of peanuts. I like it. This field is done. Moving. Back to threshing. The next field. Yeah, it looks like we got a few rocks here again. It's not as bad as the field last year, but there's a few of them. And now I'm getting kicked out of the combine. My dad's, oh. gonna, my dad's gonna drive for me. Too bad. <laughs> All right, have fun. Yes, sir.
All right, so the reason for getting kicked out of the tractor, or not, sorry, not tractor, combine, is because I want to turn on, or I'm supposed to be turning on this pivot right here. Uh, we were about to dig dig this field. The, digger, the diggers are actually on that end of the field. We were, we were about to dig it, but there's a chance for rain tomorrow, and it looks like it's actually going to rain tomorrow. So we want to wait till after the rain, and plus these peanuts are not quite ready. So I want to just put it on forward here now on 100%. That'll work for now. Uh, I want to just water just a little bit on here just to make the ground a little bit wetter because it is a little bit dry. So I've got to open this valve. There you go. And then I believe this well isn't running. So I've got to turn on that one too. There we go. Now it sounds like it's running. Yep. Let's see. Come on. I think the clock might be broken because I can hear it pumping. Yeah, the clock's just taking forever. I'll get back to that in a minute. Anyways, so the ground is a little bit dry, so I'm gonna put down about three tenths, maybe four tenths, to send the pivot around really quickly. And then if it does rain, we'll turn it off. But then if it doesn't, we'll just water just a little bit just to get the ground nice and wet and then it, it'll make it easier for digging peanuts. So here in a couple of minutes, this pivot will be running and then I'll probably head back to the combines and see what else is there to do. She's running, good to go. And it's the next morning and we're gonna be loading up trucks again. Got a few clouds off in the distance, sprinkling a little. If you look at the ground, See the little dots? Yeah, we're getting a few sprinkles here and there. So luckily last night they did finish this field. So peanuts are off the field, that's good. We just got this basket we, we need to empty and then we can uh, move to the next field, our next location. Uh-oh, what happened there? That's weird. Why is the shaker not working? I'll figure it out. All right, got it to work. We're back in business. So we're wanting to move out here soon. Baskets empty on that side, need to do the rest of that. But I just said there was a pile of peanuts at the pivot. So I'm gonna grab one of these buggies and go clean it up. It wasn't me that made the mess. I wonder who it was. All right, we're moving out. Moving to the next field. Probably won't be able to thresh today since it is quite cloudy. Sprinkled a little bit here and there. So I doubt it's gonna work to thresh today, but I guess we'll see what, what happens after lunch. Yep, I don't think we're going to be harvesting anytime soon. So, then that's going to be it for this video. Probably going to be at least, what is it? It's, it's Friday. Oh, it's nice when the camera cuts you off. What I was saying is, now with this rain, we are not going to be harvesting anytime soon. It's Friday. Uh, maybe we'll harvest Monday because, you know, we're not really wanting to work on a Sunday. But if we have to, then we would. But... Probably just gonna hit after it Monday, but since it rained, I'm gonna turn off a few pivots because they don't need to be watering right now. So, do appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next. Video.